Good morning, guys. Tim Heidecker here. It's Thursday, September 28th, 2023. Live from Glendale, California. Got to get my levels here. It's a little loud in my head. Uh, we are, we got to stack. I'm going to do the show eyes closed today. See if that changes anything about my thought process, the way my brain grabs thoughts and transmits them to you. I think it'll be exciting to see what happens. Vic, confirm good idea or bad idea. Uh, I'd be up for that. I support that. <laughs> All right. They're open. If you think something is good, then I'm going to bail on it right away. Right. I, know, I know good things when I hear them. What should we do? You need to leave. What should we do? You need to leave. Wow. Vic? You're Vic. You're Doug. I'm Doug. Doug, good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning to you. And, of course, Victor Berger IV is here with the biggest headphones I've ever seen. You look like, <laughs> you look like the fly. All right. Speaking of, speaking of flying Put those things. over your eyes. Uh, you look like no. the fly. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> it's like uh, it's like Jeff Goldblum got in the uh, in that transporter thing with a, a fly and Axl Rose with that hat on, <laughs> that bandana. I'm gonna start doing the uh, what's the guy's name from Poison, Brett Michaels. Brett I'm, gonna, Michaels. I'm gonna put the cowboy hat over top the bandana. That's great. We have a here. Take it. Where? Take the cowboy hat. The oh, rainbow yeah, cowboy hat. I got a head. I got headphones on though. Okay. I can't, I can't fit uh, over the hat. Can't, Captain Carlin is with us, and uh, Yellow. we also want to welcome a brand new intern. That is the captain of what an entrance. What perfect timing. And should I scold him right away? Or that's not nice on his first day. Well, I don't think so. <laughs> Joseph? Yeah, the Vic Hello. Vision camera, too. Nice to, to see you. Nice to, good to be here. Thank you. And thank you, Joseph. Welcome yeah. aboard. Give it up for Joseph. Get, get back in there and uh, get on the mic, because we'll just ask you a couple of questions real quick. Wes. Uh, not before you get one more coffee. Let me get a sip yeah. in me. Uh, Joseph, you're coming in from Temple University? Wow. And are you <laughs> in uh, Are you in the Philadelphia area? Is that where you're from? Is that your, your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm from the suburbs right outside of Philly. Mainline area. Go for it. Yeah, yeah. Mainline it, right? Everybody? Yeah, mainline it. <laughs> get in there. <laughs> right on the outskirts of Delco. So, okay. a lot of interesting characters. And how are you enjoying Los Angeles so far? How long have you been out here? Uh, I've been here about a month now, and I will say I've been here once before, but um, you know, just living here, driving here, um, you know, you can't beat the weather, obviously, but right. it's a whole different world. So There you go, it's a whole different world. A whole new world. Well, Joseph, thank you for being here. We hope you stay for a long, long time. <laughs> <laughs> At the intern level. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to the big show. We have two guests today, and I, I'm trying to see who I should interview. If you silently, the both of you, mm. One, two. put a finger up for what order you think I should introduce you in. Okay. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. We'll do it that way. Wow. First of all, from... This is a this this guy might as well be considered Robert uh, 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 Bob Woodward. <laughs> He's a legendary political reporter, friend of the show, now uh, running a part a big part of Semaphore, formerly of the Washington Post, political uh, news junkie, news hound, <laughs> news junkie, <laughs> blogster. <laughs> and writer, a great thinker on politics, Dave Weigel, old friend of the show. Dave, great to be in your presence. It's good to be here. Thank you for all the titles. The reason Dave is here is, yeah. first of all, for him to elucidate us on the, is that a word? Elucidate? We, it is. I remember you asked me I've that before years yeah. ago, and I still don't know if it's a real word. He is here <laughs> it was, uh, for the GOP d debate last night, so he was out yeah. here up in Simi Valley at the presidential uh, Reagan Library, and he's going to have lots of takes, and we're going to get into it, but he's not the main event. 
Not by a long shot, Dave. I respect that. <laughs> yeah. I know my place. Because the one and only, the great Megan Statler is here with us. Oh. Stalter. Fucking A. <laughs> um, Can I get... <laughs> That's not fair. I, I'm you... having a hard time gathering my thoughts. Um, I... Stalter. I, the elephant This the is not what is... you told me. I thought that well, this was a one-on-one -on -one interview. Oh, shit. <laughs> and it seems like the whole family was invited. <laughs> Nothing against well, you, Dave. No, we were a little <laughs> worried about yeah. your, uh, how well you're going to do here. Mm -hmm. And this is a great first opportunity for you. I just, there was a lot of things I wanted to talk about. Sex, love, and everything in between. Yeah. <laughs> and now I'm like, okay, it's the boys club. <laughs> well, I, <laughs> I might as well be in a, a brawl uh, in a hula skirt and just walk around serving everyone <laughs> drinks, right? <laughs> Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, do you want some? Do you need something? We can get I'm, you some from the kitchen. I'm fine. I have the sweetest coffee I've ever drank. I'm just gonna keep sucking <laughs> uh, on that when listen, things get awkward. I asked Matt to clarify that we would have yeah. some people on, and you if didn't that, say, yeah, that's yeah. okay. Okay. Sorry. Well, do you want to move past that, or do you want to? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move past it. I'm, Jeez. I'm having fun. The more the merrier. Yeah. Um, Dave, I think you're awesome. I'm excited to. Are you going to ask a question that we both answer and kind of see who? Oh, no, no. I'll, I'll sort of, okay. I'll manage this like any old talk show. Okay. I'll, I'll direct things to, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on the debate. I know you watched it last night. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> I um, have to think about it for, or I need to, it was, I had a great time Did watching it. Did you get to, you woke up early and watched yeah, it? Cause I, cause, on YouTube. Because last night was a little wild. <laughs> I'm a little bit, Tim is kidding. I mean, I w I'm a little hungover. Yeah. Um, had a so lot of I. lemon drop shots last night. We did an amazing show. Um, Talk about what it was like to, to get to <laughs> perform on the same stage with me. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, I, you came out, and everyone was so excited. And then I guess I was kind of like a surprise guest, because when I came out, everyone started, just, oh, my it God. Was so it was insane. Like, oh, my God, he, she's here, she's here. And they kind of had to usher you in the, to the back, like, faster, because you were right before me. Well, what we're going to do is I've got the full your full set recorded from last night, so we're going to play that. <laughs> no, we don't need to play it, though. It's really good it. fan video from the back. <laughs> and you could see the whole show. No one attacked me, and <laughs> nothing crazy happened, so we don't need to play it. Because I, I think people know my stand-up, and that's not what, really what today's about. You know that, T. Well, we're going to put it out on Patreon. We're going to put Meg's... You can laugh. Look at you. You're, you're stifling laughter. No, I'm not. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm a big laugher, so I'm going to let the laughs free when I have them. Um, but Tim did an amazing <sighs> job last night, and... Um, it's not your fault that people were just surprised I was there because I, I think you had such an amazing set. But then the surprise element of me be, being there. Oh my well, God, you were I on the bill. My only question was, you were on the bill, so the surprise is, was a little. <laughs> I think it was a surprise. Is she going to show up? Because she might be film. You know, the right. strike's almost over, and yeah. people. Some things got to. You know, oh, you could film that. Some big Hollywood thing. So I think people thought I was filming. Something right. As soon anywhere. as the strike ends, you're back to work. Can I, I'm I'm back on set as um, Tuesday. I think I'm. Going back on set on no, you're not. on Tuesday. Well, the str SAG strike is still going. Yeah, but on. I think on Monday they're meeting. <laughs> okay. So on Tuesday, I think <laughs> I'm going to be back scheduled on set. Um, so I've got new curlers for that. But you did such an amazing job last night. I think you were just such a funny guy. And I just think the surprise. <laughs> Despite the reaction it. from the audience. No, they loved your kidding. set. I think they just were so surprised that I actually can make the show. <laughs> this was established. <laughs> um, Dave, you okay? I'm doing good. Okay, yeah. you're off the hook for a little bit because we've got a lot to well, get. Well, how into. was your show last night, Dave? I was barely part of it. I just was in a tent next to the graves of Ronald Nancy Reagan, <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, listening to Republican candidates yell at each other. <laughs> That's yeah. So this yeah. is this is this is interesting. To Did me. you interview yeah. anybody after the the show? Not the or candidates. Were you just loafing around? Like all all the, I mean, the Trump would send. A bunch, he did this the last debate. He sent Don Jr. He sent he sent Carrie Lake, Lake to both. Uh, you met her, yeah, yeah. yeah, in Milwaukee. Uh, there were fewer this time, but they all just kind of show up and make fun of how <laughs> <laughs> they make fun of everyone there. Like, yeah, they're, it's not really a two man race. It's uh, there's they were starting to their message started to be like these guys are just hurting Donald Trump, our inevitable nominee next president. They should really back off and drop out now. Right. That was that was their message. And they were they were mocking everybody. I talked to them. Talked to the other campaign folks. Uh, if you've seen you've seen the spin this way these spin rooms work like there's the, the the most fun to me is always the reporters that came from Finland or Israel like the foreign reporters who will sometimes just ask like a weird existential question like why are you running yeah and sometimes they'll like 
hey, I didn't understand your answer on Ukraine, which made no <laughs> sense. And the rest of the campaign doesn't understand it either. They're right. Like, oh, we didn't realize there'd be a follow up. No, Wait, no, what no. are we going to do with Ukraine? Yeah, um, I don't know. Yeah. So they're asking the Why am I stuff. running? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. That was fun. <laughs> we can make liberals cry again. This is like music to my right? ears because yeah. I'm a political girl. I was going to say, you, you know it all, right? I'm like, like I'm a politic queen. Like, what is the right. last, uh, like, what are your thoughts on these polls? <laughs> I think that everyone <laughs> needs to do it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> That's and true. I'm such a big politic queen. Yeah. People were calling me that on Twitter. Oh. Well, that's okay. why you're like, uh, that's why you do these fundraisers we did last yeah. night. And we're very involved yeah. with the DSA and yeah. the, the Teamsters. Mm -hmm. Meg and I were, is it oh, Meg or Megan? Because I've been calling you Meg privately. <laughs> well, I like Meg privately and then Megan. Megan professional. Sort of, yeah. But so please the, stop calling me Meg on This air. is professional. <laughs> yeah. Not like our dinner the other night. No. When we ordered too many crab legs. <laughs> <laughs> there really were. Yeah. Um, what was the, what did you raise money for? I don't even know. What was it, cancer research? Um, so I think that it's funny because when you're doing a fundraiser, it's like, we'll just give them the money. Yeah. You know, so I, I don't. Yeah, it doesn't I think really it was the DSA, I mean, yeah. the, and it was also it was a, a charity for the, DSA? the Democratic Socialists mm -hmm. of America, and but it was also for the Teamsters. Uh, you know what? I don't. It was. It was. It was, was, a, it was strike adjacent. NBA. It was for the NBA. For the Emmys. For it was for the. <laughs> it was an Emmy. The NBA. It was. A, it was for the NBA and the uh, and the Emmys and the WGA. And yeah. it's kind of just they're yeah. splitting it all up between those groups. It was a fund to help. Uh, Pay for mm -hmm. uh, more Emmys. And bring the Emmys back. Yeah, bring the Emmys back. Do you get an Emmy? Um, Just for did, being. Did in... I get one or yeah. do I get one? Will you get one? <laughs> no, I haven't got one, and yes, I will. There she is. That's, <laughs> com that's like Vivek. Right. <laughs> Would you rather get a Golden Globe or an Emmy? Vivek. Um, oh, well, I think the Golden Globes are a crock. Yeah, I, I, mean, I that's they're kind of. That's like a scam. Yeah. So then I guess an Emmy, but I'm never winning anything. I'm blacklisted, man. I don't get anything. Hey, don't talk no... about my friend like that. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Why are you blacklisted, Tim? Tim? Well, let me take a call real quick, because I, for all we know, we're not on the air. <laughs> so we need confirmation on that. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the office hours. Who am I speaking with? Luke in Tucson. Hello. What's up, y'all? It's Luke. Hello, everybody. This is, uh... Um, I just, I know Old, you can hear me. Already broken. <laughs> Play some intro music. Yes, no? Yeah, we're good for you. Right, what can I help okay. you with? This is a good looking hey. guy, Luke. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hey, I just wanted to, um, with the people that are in the room here, um, you all really made the pandemic for me, Meg. I know you came up during it. Megan, it's Megan. Sorry, professionally. I corrected myself now. <laughs> um, okay, go Megan, through the you list. Really did, you really did um, change things. You made things really happy. You sent my friend who was going through a divorce a really funny cameo. Um, that gave her a big boost. So thanks for everything. And how can we find you, you on Cameo, did. Megan? <laughs> <laughs> I think, first of all, I want to say, is your name Mr. Luke or is it Mr. Bird? Because there's a lot of birds behind you. Yeah. <laughs> it's a um, great point that you can, either one will work. Professionally, Mr. Bird. Yes, there was a time in my life where I was on Cameo and I would love to come back if I, you know, if, <laughs> if, if you feel, do you guys think that people would want me to? Well, I know my friend Molly would appreciate it. And it meant a lot to Molly. <laughs> I need more than just Molly, though, because I think once you open the account, if people aren't buying them, it, it start, it's, then it's humiliating. All right. There have to be tens of people getting divorces that could make it worth your while. That really does mean a lot to me, and I want to be earnest for a second and say thank you. You got and Molly got me through the pandemic because no, it was really fun buy. to make the... That I don't buy. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, one other thing I just wanted to ask, too. Um, Tim, I know you came up... Uh, a Catholic boy, I did too. Did you know that the band Smash Mouth got their name from the Old Testament? No. Mm. Thank you for calling in, though. Well, <laughs> you can find them. It's in um, Somebody oh. Once Told Me. Wow. 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 What was wait, wait, so, I missed wait, the pun. So, I missed wait, 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 Luke, well, wait, I don't, I so wait the, you're saying that it, they didn't get it from the Bible? They did get it from the Bible. You can find the quote in Psalm. Body wants. No, so I'm saying you're doing a joke. So now I'm thinking me. you're lying. It's a bit of both. Yeah, and we have a new policy on this show, by the way, and this is sort of in reaction to the big New Yorker story about Hassan Minaj, <laughs> is that we are required now by the because of the new law, the comedy laws, uh, the, the pledge we took is that any story we tell mm -hmm. will be true. 
And if it's not true, we will acknowledge where the embellishments mm, are. That's why I'm freaking out. I know, because it's like, maybe he didn't get the note. Yeah, and to lie about the Bible. I'm like, hmm, yeah. would God, he, him, like yeah. that? Well, also, they got their name, but the word smash mouth isn't in the, isn't in the Old Testament. So you're just saying about the you, psalm part? You can translate it's, in, it's in that it's particular true. psalm. Yeah. But anyway. Um, all right, well, thank mind. you, and good luck to you with everything bye bye. else. Thank I'm you. So Same for you all. I appreciate it. Also, hey, Dave. Hello. Did, did Dave help you get through the pandemic, Amen. by the way? <laughs> Dave did. Dave gave me the, the good news every day that didn't put me completely on edge. That's true. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was the news that did that. Dave's the voice really of reason. I take credit, but thank, Don't thank you. Don't shoot the messenger. Yes, thank you. I'm thank so confused you, that there Wiener. was a pun or Is he just saying the psalm part's the pun? I'm going to call you later today and walk you through it. <laughs> You'll get it. <laughs> I just think like they're, they did get their name from the Bible, but also you're saying that somebody... Psalm. Psalm. All so he has is the word psalm. But yeah. I, that's my question. Is that the only, only that Doug, the only punch? Doug, I need you to it? punch this up. There it, must be something else there. You can't just, the body part needs to fit into the joke, yeah. too. Sir. Well, that's what I'm thinking. I get the mm -hmm. psalm part. Of course I do. Sure. Of course. You got that right away. But I'm thinking somebody <laughs> once told me, you know, I think it's just the psalm part you're saying that's the pun, right? I think I think you guys will get this in a couple of days. It's one of those things. That oh, really we get it. Oh, no, how no, dare no. you? I, I can't say I can't stress no, enough that I get the psalm part. Yeah, yes. I'm asking, is there any truth to them finding their name in the Bible? No. Okay, so we just were told a lie. Because I started going, oh my god, that's odd. That's yeah, I didn't cool. know that. You know? Cool. Yeah, yeah. Hook, line, and sinker. And the, I agree with Meg, Megan. That the the idea that we don't get it, and then in a couple yeah. days uh, yeah, it'll come yeah, to us. Like, come back to us. Maybe uh, when you're sleeping tonight, you'll think about yeah, it. Yeah, I wasn't born last week, pal. You'll in the shower or something like that. It doesn't have to be in a couple of days. Uh, it could be today. You just. Need all right, I'm done with Doug. In, I actually think you'll get what we're saying later in the shower, Doug. <laughs> Doug, do you know wait, my wait, you know my Luke, Tucson Luke pun? Oh, Luke, Luke. His name. I'm, my name is Doug. That's I said Doug because you said Doug. <laughs> I said Doug because you said. I was like, I guess his name's Doug. But guess what? Our sound guy Luke is from uh, Arizona, so now I'm Correct. lost. So there's two Lukes and there's one Doug. There's hey Luke, songs. why don't you go back to there's... Tatooine? Will you get the hell out of here? <laughs> oh. Star actually, Wars. Tucson came from the Bible too. Two Psalm. Ah, oh, two nice. psalms. See that works because that's like probably a real. Yeah, verse. and also mm -hmm. you didn't have a big fat lie that went along with it. <laughs> well, that was a lie too. How about how about a city of the day palate cleanser? Fair enough. Bye, Luke. Bye, Luke. We love you and we appreciate you. And we know that you like the the little sparring we all do. It's fun. <laughs> Shit, I gotta do some work here, hold on. Study of the Day is sponsored by... Oh my god. I moved it down on the page there. Is that it? City of the Day is sponsored by Chat GTP. <laughs> Ever had... <laughs> Chat? Chat GTP. That's our new sponsor. Ever since you were potty trained, you've been wiping with your own hand. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Ever since you were potty trained, you've been wiping with your own hand. Aren't you sick of it? Now there's a better way. Introducing Shat GTP, the AI wiping system of the future that makes toilet time easy. After you lay down a steaming coiler. <laughs> what? <Do you> know... <laughs> I truly, sometimes I read these, sometimes I don't. Tonight, today. <laughs> After you lay down a steaming coil or simply stand up and, elect and an electronic eye will scan your rump for... Dave is dying over this. Yeah, this I is, can't believe this is disgusting. I know, this is... This I is, just uh, haven't heard Corlin before. This I'm is elementary all, boys locker room humor. All right, I'm going to try again. Can I get another take here? Now talk about cutting things out of the show. Let's get... <sighs> After you lay down a steaming coiler, simply stand up and, and an, an electronic eye will scan your rump for skids and berries. Once the soil, we cut, I hope you're cutting the Weigel over here. <laughs> He's losing it. You said this is a boys club, is that your take? Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> once the soiled area has been identified, a silicon, <laughs> once the soiled areas have been identified, a silicone Robotic arm will grab the perfect amount of TP and gently wipe the cheeks and crack with nano precision. Once you're clean, you can pull up your pants and start your day. No need to even wash your hands. The coolest part, the voice of William Shatner will soothe you through the whole process. Order now and get a free 
bid AI attachment and take your <laughs> cleanliness to the next level. Chat GTP available exclusively at newegg.com slash wipe me up, Scotty. It's not that gross. It kind of no. is a good idea. Oh, it's actually a good I idea. I had a jingle made. Oh, sorry. You, you didn't tell me in the doc. <laughs> not the I dumbest AI idea either. Go ahead, Doug. Hold on. My own body gum is helping me wipe. In a high tech toilet, I'm feeling so hype. William Shatner voice is like a symphony. Calming my nerves, making me feel productive, you see. For full <laughs> access to Uber Duck, <laughs> sign up for our premium plan. <laughs> I had an AI. Uh, That's amazing. Made. That's AI. <laughs> All, right. All right, I'm for That's AI. A good rapper, though. <laughs> Phil? Oh. Phil's our city of the day today, I believe. We got Phil? Hey, everybody. How's oh, everyone no. doing? Good to see you guys. Thanks for uh, having me on as the uh, city of the day. I got some slapback from you, Phil. Can you, you, you should know by now, this is three, four years of you doing this show, and I'm hearing your voice doubled. Please do it. Well, I'm sorry about that. Um, Hang on just a second. Maybe I can, I don't know if I can fix it. I'm kind of like in a bind on, right now. Zoom. I know. That was perfect, though. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, can you hear me okay? Because I'm, I'm kind of limited as to what I can do here. Why? Uh, anyway, the city of the day is Glendale because uh, I am in Glendale right now. You are? Yeah. Can you guys hear me, in fact? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, we can hear you. We just can't see you. I don't like know what's how going on. How close to the studio are you? Uh, oh, I'm very, very close. <laughs> Doug, you can't hear me. Um, are you? Where are you? Doug, um, can you hear my voice? Using a Maybe if you can follow my voice, you can you can see where I'm at uh, there in the studio. He's saying he's inside the studio right now. <laughs> he's behind you. Wait, what? Maybe you want a cold and warm. Like, can, you, like, can you hear me? Uh, your uh, look, look over to your right shoulder, maybe. <laughs> it's all black where I'm at. I can't see a thing. <laughs> Open the curtains there. Maybe no? try from no. the other side. No, you're you're cold there. Try the other side of the curtain there. Here. Yeah, pull it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What the hell? There I am. That <laughs> sent a chill down my just, spine. Just, just now now I need it? the longer headphones. No wow. Just, <laughs> this, is in, this is insane. How just does it slide it all uh, from the left? Yeah, there you go. Oh, my God. Wow. That is... Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's Megan. I can see Megan there. That is scary. It's sending a chill down up and down. I don't like it. I didn't know. Wait, like that you're in my wall? <laughs> Hey Dave. Mm. Hello. Dave, are you scared? I, I'm, uh, oh, not now. Now that's been revealed. This yeah. is, it seems normal. Get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> hey, get, stop. Get out of my house, dude. Wait, we'll just cover him back up. Yeah. Yeah, cover him back up. No, don't cover it up. <laughs> I mean, uh, boy. I, he's staring, I'm staring, I'm staring at me. You're doing the old hiding in the painting thing. Like you don't want to let us know you're in there, right? You want it to be more. <laughs> The whole point of it is to like. And you're, there was also a curtain in front of you. There was a curtain, so you couldn't see us until now, until the big reveal. How long is he there? Well, uh, the unfortunate part is I'm kind of trapped back here. Wait, what's that, Phil? What's that, Phil? <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm kind of trapped back here. Um, see, I'm, I'm starting a new business where I'm installing these uh, in people's homes and offices. And, so you can, uh, observe and uh, you know I'm working with uh, my partner Carlos and there was no trap door or anything here built in so I just kind of had him wall me back in the back here but I can't get out so, well, so, I've been here for so two days. I mean I know the architecture here a little bit it's basically just like that's a wall with some two by four so mm -hmm. it can't be more than like I don't know a, a foot and a half or something of space back there and how, well, how did you get in can't you get out the way you got in Carlos cut the opening, but then I had him seal it back up. Oh, that... It sounds like he would choose a different um, part of the wall to be able to see us. I would think so, too. Well, right? Like, probably behind you. Yeah, yeah behind like in me. one of these portraits here. Yeah. Well, I've been here for two days. <laughs> <laughs> well, it must smell great back there. Um, Ew! <laughs> you know what he's doing. Gross! Yuck! Well, maybe he's not eating. Maybe he's got no, shaggy TP. 
Well, we have a, a bit of a mouse problem. Are you get? Are you have any interference from any mice in the oh, walls? You've got a big infestation going on back here, uh, for sure. I can tell you that. But uh, but at any rate, I'm I'm trying to uh, install these, and you know, uh, I'd be happy to leave this as a permanent installment as long as I can get out. But uh, you know, it's a great way to look in on conversations. And yeah, nobody uh, wants that, Phil. I mean, maybe <laughs> sick people do, but. Uh, and there's certainly a market for that. I mean, there's a lot of sickos out there. Um, <laughs> Phil, we got to go, but um, I'm gonna. As soon as the show's over, I'm gonna call 911 and figure out a way to get you out. Okay, <laughs> just hang way. tight. I'll, I'll be watching the show. Close that curtain. I'm done. <laughs> bye bye. I'll leave it open so I can watch. <laughs> no, I don't think so, buddy. Give me a little crack. No, get him close. <laughs> close it down. I don't want him to see the show. I don't want him looking at Megan. He was looking down my jeans. <laughs> I, I could tell the way he was looking. It's mental. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Phil. Good luck. Wow. Well, I don't want to spoil stuff and make it feel like maybe this doesn't need to be discussed. Hmm. And I don't know if anyone's going to believe me, but again, we did sign the pledge. Right. What, what I say is true unless I, I have to acknowledge embellishments. It has to be true. It has to be true. I didn't know. I didn't know that. I didn't know anything about that bit. Matt, can you confirm? <laughs> no one knew except me and Wes. Oh, I believe you 100. <laughs> percent Fuck, fucking good. I mean, bit. I, I know that at first I wasn't smiling. It was because I was scared because I was like, "How did he get here?" Yeah, and I, don't, I don't know him as well as y'all. <laughs> no, you don't. So if I, you know, like for you me, that was happened. a strange, you know, a stranger was in the room looking at and down I, my And maybe jeans. what should have happened is mm-hmm. Matt should have sidebarred you and said, "Listen, I know you don't oh, know the show yeah. that well, right?" No, they're fail. Sorry. So many guys in here, I don't even know where they all are. Is there any guys behind that curtain? I know. Can everybody come out if there's any, anybody else here? It's like, Show you know yourselves. how many are in the room <laughs> looking at me. Well, I'm sorry. All I can do is apologize. How could you be sorry if you didn't even know? I'm responsible for this it. ship. I know he thinks he's Captain Carlin, but I am responsible. I'm Admiral. I'm well, Chief then, of Staff. Why would you keep that from Captain Tim? Why would you keep a secret like that from Captain Tim? He should know who's on the ship. True. Uh, I have no excuse. Yeah. I'll, you know what's funny is now? And Dave, may, this is a nice segue. Nobody can apologize anymore. Mm-hmm. What, instead, they just explain themselves, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Or say it's a conspiracy. I mean, you had Menendez. And oh, yeah. I'm so oh, yeah. I blame sorry. Phil. It's Phil's he fault. blamed, yeah. I think, uh, anti Latino discrimination for him <laughs> having gold bars throughout his house. Yeah. Uh, another good use of wall space. From him, yeah, yeah. Oh, this, he is, have it, this is more fun, but... Did he have it stashed in all, the... All sorts of places. <laughs> it's one of those, it, you know, like, indictments are fun. I didn't appreciate that until the last five years when every news story is... So we always got indicted, yeah. but they're really good. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I have fun writing what I write, but if, like, lawyers could just... Guess what? We searched the guy's whole house, and here's what we found. Good stuff. It just seems wacky yeah. that that a lot of these things are... That there's a, a mindset that these things are, like coordinated and planned and that the, the idea is to get somebody yeah. to, to, for political reasons. Mm-hmm. I just don't think that's how the world works. Like all these people, all these like, you know, nine to five or justice department, wherever it is, they're like, right? It's, they're just like doing their job, but maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, I mean, it worked so, he lost, I guess, but it worked so well for Trump for so long. And once once somebody gets away with that take, yeah. And that, why would you not? I mean, even, I think... Wait, did you just come from the future and say that Trump lost? I lost the last time. Right. Yeah, right. yeah. Allegedly. Yeah. He lost the last time. <laughs> Do you think that um, politicians are basically actors, comedians, performers? More and more. Really every time, you know? like so you're every time, this than I am. Every Good time one of them loses, I'll give you a hug. Oh, yeah. I'll give you a hug because I thought that was so... Ow! <laughs> Ow, he's pitching me! <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I thought that was so great. <laughs> That was a good segue, thank you. I'm proud of you for doing that, for mm, stepping up. I felt up like the hug was nice and you started pinching my back. I didn't pinch <laughs> anybody. Ow. Really, no. really rough. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question, Dave. I was just saying, Admit it. every time one of the normal ones loses, a guy who's just like a good yeah. lawyer who then became a politician, yeah. they're replaced by a guy who just wants to go yeah. on TV, wants to go on Rumble uh, and, just, and just talk about their grievances Get a big blow up mm-hmm. of like Hunter Biden naked. There's a lot of those blow ups. You should give Dave a hug too. Yeah. I will when he says something actually smart. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. No. But the first. I mean, the first was the guy you were sitting next to last night. The, the dead guy. 
Oh, yeah. Reagan? Reagan, first yeah, like, Hollywood guy. Yeah, he's right? the, fir- the original, <clears throat> original made for TV. Yeah. That's, but now it's just normal people who like have, you know, mid-level reality right. show charisma, but then they'll get elected to the house, and then all they... You, it's hard to tell what they're doing apart from just owning people, like on on, on, uh, on with t- their tweets, etc. Um, and I don't know that that trend is not reversing. Like I, I'll talk to the normal, the the the, the twenty normal guys left. They're kind of sad about it. Um, like, there is like who's people, the most normal person up on that stage last night, <laughs> if, in your opinion? <laughs> oh, the governor of North Dakota. You can't not. Bergham. Yeah, he's oh, yeah. It's the most normal state. Uh, yeah, he he just kept, but he just was losing it because he, he would say, hey. I have that. I have the resume. All you people say you like. Why are you not paying right. attention to me? I was. I, I got rich in business. I was a governor. Isn't doesn't that matter? And the answer is not really. <laughs> I don't really care about that anymore. What about having them take improv classes? Could that I think be some helpful? of them have. That's a really good or idea. Or an acting yeah. coach. No, some they won't talk right? about it. It's embarrassing, but many of these guys have just take it. Like get those basic skills so that when you're in a in a TV debate and they're laughing at you or something. Or uh, how do you... Like, some people just can't, like, tell a story very well, mm-hmm. so they'll, they'll pick up that. Oh, like a storytelling class. Yeah, that kind of thing. Moth. Wait, they, I have a... They will never admit it. It's like, they would admit, like, various drug addictions before they would admit, like, they took an acting class, but they've done it. I have a huge reveal. Are you sure you want to do this? I, yeah, this okay. is exactly where I need to say this, because I've been holding it back for years. <laughs> I took a improv class before he was kind of a politician person with Chastin... Um, Pete Buttigieg's husband. Really? And oh, yeah. Chastin was my closest friend in class, and I love him. Guess what? He would always tell me what he wanted me to do in the improv scene before he do it. That's not cool. <laughs> That's not what improv is about. <laughs> and I. But you and liked him anyway. He was taking it, he was taking it for fun. Sure. I, like he was being he's he's sweet and he was like trying to have a fun time. And he'd be like be, the, be you know be the doctor and, and, and I try to ignore him because. I'm so, I'm I was like I'm here for for fun and business. I I want to get good yeah, at it's improv. A career, it's a... I, I I can't take in the ideas before the scene. Now is this where you started in improv? <laughs> Were you Groundlings or UCB or no, this what? was in Chicago and this was at a theater. Oh God, what was it called? It wasn't one of the main ones, but I took all the main ones too right. as well. Improv um, Olympic. I, I took I O. I took Second City. I right. took the Annoyance, um, but. I, I will never, it, this was like at a black box, like theater underground. Well, well you a couple of white people performing <laughs> at a black box. I don't know if that. <laughs> and he every <sighs> day would come in and tell me what you want to do. Be the doctor. And you, you were okay with that? What? Or did no. you think it was? You no, I kind of tried you... to block it out, even though I did love him. Like he's, right. and I still love him. And he's one of, are he you was still in touch? Friend. Once in a while, he'll, he'll write a nice message. Aw. But he's, he has twi- he has the twin children now. He's busy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, Everyone hated that story. Great. Well, I didn't know that you could do that. I thought he was breaking improv rules. But Great. I, I, don't know. I guess I'll go fuck myself. It. Well, I thought I had a big story. I, what am I supposed to do? There's a lot of podcasts that will like. Buttigieg's husband. Right? You, you got, you had, you <laughs> took improv with Pete Buttigieg's husband? I think it was the, no! it was the lead up. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have announced, oh, I got this big reveal. And then the sound cue comes in and I go, okay, I'm going to have to really. And then Dave, he, he didn't even crack a smile at that story. He's oh, I, I, d- I was doing this. I had my hand on my chin. You guys thought it'd be someone yeah. even like crazier or something, I guess. Yeah, like Joe Biden. I took improv with <laughs> yeah. Joe Biden. <laughs> uh, can I just, I don't think I've prop, I don't think I've been managing the show well because I have not properly explained where Meg and I, Megan and I are at mentally. Mm. Come on, man. Because we love show business. Mm. And we love helping. And I did. We did mention we did this show last night. But what we didn't mention, maybe, I'm sure is we mentioned that we like helping mm-hmm. too. Yeah, we do love helping. Yeah. and giving. <laughs> but the truth is, this we did two shows last night. Mm-hmm. Where's the breaking news music? Mm. Doesn't matter. I'm just and again, Tim, you did an amazing job. <laughs> I, the headline news. I didn't get. I'm an, I go to bed at ten o'clock yeah. on, an, on an average night and wake up at seven six. I mean at six. So last night I didn't get home till one in the morning. Oh yeah, yeah. And how do I go to sleep as soon as I get home? When you get home, do you go right to sleep? No. Oh, after I ru- watch five hundred <laughs> TikTok videos. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I go right to sleep after that. I will say earlier, you know, I was kind of playing around, but you were so funny last night. I was laughing so hard I was crying, and it was so so good. And then when I got off stage, um, after my set, you were like. 
oh, you're done, <laughs> you're done already? And I was, I was like, oh, did you not see my set? And you're like, yeah, I went to get a drink. No, that's not true. I saw your, look at you. <laughs> Stop being such a bad person for, for just relax. And I said, oh, you did? Well, the bar's in the theater. And you're like, oh, I went somewhere else. <laughs> I left the, the I venue. I was like, oh, OK. I went to the, the bodega to get a, a soda. <laughs> no, I watched both your sets. And I, well, and which I, one was better? Which, which one of mine? Yeah. I think the second one was a little looser. Uh, <laughs> Dead silence. You thought the first one was better. You know, the problem was it, both of our sets were <laughs> similar of uh, to each other. Not to each other, but like oh, I, oh, right, I, right, we right, did, right. did the same thing. I thought thing. you were t telling me that I copied your <laughs> no. stuff. No, 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 I was no, like, no. oh, okay. I still want to do that one day is go do out. Do the same exact thing. Yeah, and come, like if Chelsea, Chelsea Peretti was also very funny. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would love to come out and like do a bunch of her jokes after she already went up. <laughs> word for word is so, I've always yeah. thought that would be so funny. But I guess maybe the surprise of your first set made mm -hmm. that a little more exciting for me. Okay. Uh, so if I had to rate them, they were both fantastic. I tried to add, first uh, set I might. hate to say this, but I did try to add some different stuff to the second. You absolutely to did. You, but... So you like the first one better because you've never seen me perform. Never. And then the second, you're like, yeah, I've seen this. Yeah, this an is getting a little ago. old. But I try to switch it up, but to know to know that you watched it, thinking, oh, not as surprising, <laughs> and it makes me. You know. Yeah, I know. Do you ever see that someone's been at? Oh, this person's seen my set a bunch. I better come up with like a something crazy tonight. No. Yeah, me either. No, but comedy is so dependent on surprise. Surprise. But what about? Oh, that's my favorite joke. Oh, what? You know. Yeah, I guess I get some of that, too. You listen to like, oh, I've been listening to this Mitch Hedberg re record for the 50th <gasps> time. You ever do that, Dave? Bring it back to him. What was the helping part <laughs> that you were saying? The what? The helping part. What was that part? Well, we were doing a charity event, so we were helping. Right. But the point was, we're out of our minds because we, yeah. I was up too late. I right? was up too late and up very early. Yeah. <laughs> do, did you have HMU come over and get you all ready for the show? So I had hair and makeup come over around... 3 a.m.? Three. And then... That's a lot. <laughs> sometimes I like to do a vocal coach sort of thing. So they, they I hear that. over at four. One, two, three. And um, I like to do... I, well, of course, I need some me time in the morning. Yeah. Um, I need an hour yeah. alone. Oh, two. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Two. <laughs> Light some incense and do some, you know, write in my diary. And so, and here I am. And then, yeah. And I also came three hours early. I know you were here really early, yeah. crack of dawn. Every uh, can I mention? Yes, yeah, so poor dilemma? Vic is trying to get his word. So much to say, not really, but uh, this not every morning at four forty-five, my asshole neighbor across the street comes out with his huge motorcycle and <laughs> just red, fucking red what? It. And he intends because he's going off to work and he's probably pissed. He's got to go to work at four forty-five. Four forty-five. I don't know. These don't know. fucking blue and collar. He does it working, but he's but he does it on purpose and he sets off all the car alarms. <gasps> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every day. Every morning. Yeah, yeah. It's sick. It's even weekends too. Like, well, he's got to go to work and everything, but like. I don't He's know. mad at everyone that he has to go. Yeah, to but I don't know what to do about it because I get it. It sucks to get up at that time, but it's like also that's like, that's it's, psychotic and, and then behavior. I, then I'm like I, I'm like oh there he goes, and then I try to go back to sleep and I'm, I can't. I'd I leave a it. note on his motorcycle. Should, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's with these guys? That I'd their, fucking yeah. let their pop cars those tires. Oh, yeah. fatal forever. <laughs> or disable the brakes. <laughs> Just do that. If you disable, exactly. no, I'm serious. That'll if you disable the, the brakes and he's zooming away. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Yeah, why don't you just? And it's not. The brakes. It's not illegal. It's not. It's like not. it's not illegal no, to no. turn someone's brakes off. I'm sure that it's not illegal to turn someone's brakes off and then leave a note saying, "Well, maybe you don't do it next time." Yeah, yeah, right, right. If, if you left a note, though, you could probably. Right. You don't want to leave that much evidence. Uh -huh. Just do it. Do it, but don't leave a note. No, you got to oh, do yeah. something louder an hour before That's, he gets up. Right. Ooh, right Let him right. know yeah. what it feels like. Uh -huh. We got a Hatfields and McCoy situation. Right? Or leave a note with somebody else's <laughs> name on it. That would throw people off. You just yeah, leave, a, good idea. leave a note Rick. that says enough. <laughs> enough. I'll just blast this. Can I share a story about getting up in the middle of the night? It might take a few minutes. We got time. Please. If we take a call and then I'll, I'll tease yeah. that story. Oh, oh now sure. well, great. Very that's all curious. I'm gonna be thinking about. I bet we won't. We won't get back to that story. We're just gonna keep. No, no, no. Oh, we have to. Yeah. I, I have a fear of we missing out forget. on conversation. Yeah. So you I'll see? be thinking of it. Okay. Foco. I have fear of missing out on conversation. <laughs> I'll be thinking about the story until you tell it. Okay. Well, let's see if this person can can uh, raise the game, uh, level up. This is a nice story from Vinny. Nick Collar. 
Oh, Vinny. Vinny has a nice Vinny story. Boombat. What's that? <laughs> Vinny Boombat. Vinny, you're Vinny on. Vinny Boombat. Mm-hmm. Can you want me to reference? Or it's a reference. Oh, the song Vinny? makes me cry. You there you go. The song makes me cry. Does it? Does yeah. It? Vinny, what's the, the story, Matilda, buddy? The what the hell's going on with your... Look at Meg, wow, Megan. Well, comment cool. on what you're seeing right now. Oh, I want real hmm. time. Is that like well, a, okay, a I'll comment. Parkour thing? That's interesting, Mr. Flat oh, Fox World. Yeah. I, I bet it's oh. for weasels. Is it for... Uh, Whoa, oh, you're cats. letting your cat the go shirt? that high? Wow. You're, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. Vinny, you need to keep the cat... That's crazy to be letting your animal go that high. high you, he yeah, should not be higher like, than you. But in the wild, like cats the, don't the live in trees. They like the vertical exercise. In the wild, but cats I, don't I think they appreciate it. They appreciate it. <laughs> All right, very quickly, Vinny, I know you have something meaningful and heartwarming <laughs> to share with us, but... He's feeling self-conscious about the, the cat, the cat <laughs> Yeah, ball. I'm, like, easing away from it. Yeah, I don't know if you guys remember. I, I called in, like, uh, last year around this time. And uh, you might remember this brick wall that had stickers on it. Mm, but kind of I, yeah, called I, in I did with, comedy uh, there a few nights ago. <laughs> <laughs> I called in uh, when Tenacious D was on. Well, you and, called in when uh, Tenacious D was on, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and uh, I, I, Jack Black at one point like offered me backstage passes, and uh, I I. Followed up on it and saw like you know if it could really happen and sure enough, we got backstage passes. We went to the show Tenacious D like you know last week. It was incredible. It was one oh, of the best shows so nice. I've ever been to. But didn't so you I, when I you called wanted... in last time when you called in to talk to Jack and Kyle? Didn't you say that that his perform his movie School of Rock inspired you to become a teacher? That's right. I I'm a teacher, yeah, and I think yeah, that really resonated with him. There he so, is. Oh. Show the pics. Let's wow. show the pics. We got them up. We oh, got there them you up. go. Are you doing a game oh, sign? Yeah. Did, <laughs> did Jack uh, say anything yeah. about me? <laughs> did Jack uh, say anything yeah, we, about me? Yeah, we brought you up because he asked how I got in, and uh, I'm mm-hmm. actually wearing the shirt I wore. All right, but get back to me. Best. I was trying to do the uh, Wayne's World, you know, uh-huh. thing. So. It was great. It was a great show. People were stage diving. I mean, it was in a theater, but people were still like crowd surfing. And I mean, it was one of the most metal shows I've ever been to. It was great, great blend of comedy and music. And yeah, just wanted to thank you guys. Who was the thank opener? You guys for... Oh, that's it too. Dave Hill was the opener. Oh, Dave Hill. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's great. Did Dave he? Hill's great. And oh, then Meg- Megan's got a question for you. You do not okay, need. You do not need to be shy. You can ask for tickets to my one woman show. <laughs> Mama, do not come in right now. <laughs> it's are you all coming about a to, solo trip you, I took to you, Seattle. You, excuse me. You come into Plano, Vinny, Texas excuse sometime soon? Vinny, Vinny, <laughs> you're talking over Megan, and I don't like it. <laughs> this all, is not the GOP presidential debate. You something about <laughs> Dave Hill, I think. You, if yeah. you, you want to come... You could just come out and say that. You don't have to tell the story and reminisce yeah. about the old don't times. Don't around the bush. I if you love, want to I see the one woman to. show, all about a solo trip I took to Seattle, just ask. I know. Like, <laughs> I would love you do to. not need to tell this to. big story. And also, I was wondering, <laughs> did ja- did Jack Black say anything about his um, favorite female comedians, and and name uh, any of those? <laughs> He, a lot of Lisa Lampanelli talk. Okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but you don't yeah, think Dave he didn't say anything stage. about anybody else, huh? No, he, he, didn't, okay. he didn't bring it up. He didn't get it. I'm really trying to shoehorn this Dave Hill story in. <laughs> no, we'll have to okay. save that for another time. I don't really need a Dave Hill story, honestly. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. I right. appreciate well, he's it. He's a good guy. Cowabunga comedy. I think we're going to get Dave Hill to come out to Plano, Texas and do a show. So oh, what a relief. Love, we love Dave Hill, too. We love Dave Hill. <laughs> Thank you, Vinny. Uh, the other day, over the weekend, uh, driving my kids around to go somewhere, and uh, we're driving through Silver Lake, and there we see, walking down the street, Jack Black. And he was just walking down the street with his backpack on, and I could, I mean, could I have stopped and said hello? Of course. <laughs> But he had his headphones on, and he's mo- he's motivated, he and I'm in traffic. Yeah. But it was kind of cool because my kids v- v- know him very well, especially because of this goddamn Super Mario Brothers movie. Oh, the Peaches oh, song. Yeah. The Peaches song. I love the Peaches song. All kids love that song now. Yeah, they're obsessed with that song. So I like it was cool. I was like, "Hey, kids, there's Jack Black," and they're like, <laughs> "They thought they they literally like, oh, I thought you're pointing at a billboard, like like, because they know that I know him and everything." Wait, they know him. They know they've met him though in real life too. They did. Years ago, oh, okay. uh, very briefly at a at a pool 
thing. Peaches, peaches, oh, uh, billiards. Peaches, 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 have they met Dave Hill? Because I'm still, still thinking about that, the rest of that story. Yeah. yeah well, dying. Oh, to yeah, what happened? Yeah. What? The hell? what? Mr. Dave Hill? It's very I, important. I, I moved on because I'm not interested. Yeah, I'm Do you know waiting. the way that you stuck up for me in there? Was absolutely mesmerizing. I lo I lost myself in like that's why I was I'm being so earnest now because I was okay. He just stuck up for me. Yeah, that chivalrous. was like a different level of friendship than like. Well, let's we've talk been, about friendship. You know? Can we talk about friendship? Because mm -hmm. uh, the reason you're here, everyone everyone loves you. You're you're having a great moment. I don't moment, think that Vinny was a fan. It's okay. Vinny doesn't know it's shit. Okay. He's just finding out about Tenacious D. It's 2023. <laughs> 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 but I, uh, I, had, I guess I met you very briefly during the first drop concert. Mm -hmm. Very probably. Hey, and anything's for coming back. Yeah. And then uh, I don't. What did you think of me th then? Because I, I. Well, you're. I knew you're friends with Sarah Squirm. But you didn't know me as myself. No, like, I we didn't. didn't know each other yet, so it was kind of like Sarah's friends here. Yeah. Kind of. And I'd heard yeah. rumblings that this is a new talent to be looking out really? for. Really. This is this is a hot <laughs> shot coming up in the scene. And then you blow up, you get on some show, we're not going to mention it because we're on strike. And <laughs> you're beloved, mm -hmm. doing a lot of sponsored content, appreciate it. <laughs> and, but then we're both in this movie. What do you mean movie. by that? Well, what, no, what's the yeah. sponsorship that comes to mind first, though? Well, just because you mentioned it last night. Right, right, backstage. right. Backstage. Yeah. But uh, I'm just saying, you're the clearly Dunkin like... Commercial? Huh? Are you talking about the Dunkin' Donuts commercial? <laughs> no, no, no. I didn't get that. No, we'll talk, that's, okay. that's for another time. Uh, but then we're both in New York to go to Chelsea Peretti's mm -hmm. movie that we're both in. But again, we didn't work together on that Not movie. Not even one day. No. So there's no way to form any You're kind right. of... You're right. I only saw you that, that day with Sarah, and then we did a full movie and didn't see each other during the movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we had this little cast dinner before the movie, and I was like thinking about you and thinking, I, I want to know... First of all, I would love to have her on the show. And secondly, she seems like a funny person. Maybe I think we, I had an instinct that we might get along. <coughs> Sorry. I won't know. <laughs> you okay? <coughs> I don't it's like me with breadcrumbs. <laughs> I'm sorry, I drank it down the wrong pipe. It's like um, uh, <laughs> my breadcrumbs last night. <coughs> oh, yeah, you were choking on the... This show might be too inside. I don't know if it's like... <laughs> I think people can imagine, oh, you were choking on the breadcrumbs. No, we want to hear more about the show that none of us that. went to. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Backstage no, I'm, banter that we I'm not actually talking of. about that, but... Tim, that's not the only thing you ate. The chicken in the bowl. <laughs> he was eating little stri strips of chicken with nothing yeah, on it. I was. But, and pizza. <laughs> And but anyways, we had this dinner and and we said let's be chicken friends. China the Chinese <laughs> chicken. <laughs> well, I think that we I think it was just such a it was such a fun dinner because we really got to know each other and we um and there was lots of food there. We, there was pasta, <laughs> and there, was, <laughs> there was bread, and I think we were kind of like there was a lot of people there that were like that we didn't know. Yeah. Right. And so we were kind of like we kind of clung to each other. Yeah. I think you even were like please don't move from the seat. Yes. Because then Not some like executive way, but, would swoop mm -hmm. in and like talk about. Not that we don't like them. Love we love executive. them. We love them. But it was more like we have to stick together. Yeah. And then last night you said I don't. I haven't like you had acknowledged you hadn't seen some of my work. No, I said. <laughs> <laughs> but you said I no, know I we would get along because we had the same sense of humor. I did oh. not say that I didn't see your work. No. What I said was I go. Oh, I haven't seen you perform live. Oh, that's I true. I wasn't able to see you perform live yet. That's true. So don't on, swim, baby. I mean, they let Tim and Eric do their thing. <laughs> they were really good at a lot I was able things. to see right. Mr. Like Tim perform live, which was on my bucket list. In life. So I got to check that off last night. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I need Wait, to reset. I need push. to reevaluate re a lot of things. Right now. <laughs> but uh, but guess what? Yeah. You've not seen me perform live. And we and not putting broke us that at cherry the, last night. <laughs> not putting us at the same level. I've been dreaming of seeing you live. Whereas it sounds like you were like, okay, Sarah's friend. But I somehow got you know. I sort of since I'm such a big fan of you, I think I manifested us becoming friends. Yes. Ten and apples. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna do? Go to the mall together? <laughs> Well, what were you thinking? Like, do you feel like I'm going to be a friend that's like invited to holiday dinner? No, no. Oh, <laughs> like, like, no. Dave, Dave Weigel's not even at that. Dave, one. why no, did no. you laugh Vic's at that? Oh, just the, the the brio with which he said no. I thought that was that, that was Dave. That, was that really emotional. you were not you were not even barely looking at us during our big story about last night's 
He's processing. I was I was going back and forth. There's a video record somewhere of my reaction. Are you going to yeah. do a story on this interview? Are you going to po- po- post something today about this? I, I don't, there's Probably not enough not. conflict. I only no. I only like to write. I mean, this is this is not one. even one shared story. I could tweet something, but I mean, like a full story, I need people to be yelling. What would about, the tweet about, be? I had an amazing day. Yeah, probably. Like if there's a selfie, maybe we'll even incorporate. I haven't thought about it yet. Mm. Right. Dave, right, so after going to the debates last night, who would you say? Look who would Doug. you vote for if you had to pick one? Look, mm. look at Doug. <laughs> look at Doug. Very good. That was... Are you going to give Doug a hug? <clears throat> yeah, does that win a hug? I does... should. Well, not yet. Well, it's just, right. just not with that, you know. Not with his, not with yeah. his headphone yeah, situation. He pinches. I could do like a Christian side hug. Mm. I, I, I mean, the answer. It, Chris, Christie's the most fun mm. for like a content last perspective. Not that, and also, let's see how would I put it. Um, you want the copy. Least... You want like you want somebody who's gonna be who's gonna give you some banter. Uh, he's the same. They're all the kind of the same on policy. They've all like moved to to what Trump did. But I think Christie would would go back and forth the most, and people would would tune in again to like to what we're doing. Because right now, all the political news is just like Trump's on trial again. I think people. Well, pay let me ask to you this, President Christie. Can I get your take on this? Yeah. Because this is a, a hypothetical, perhaps yeah. maybe a slight uh, wishful thinking from me. That are you okay? I'm good. I just squinted. Yeah. Oh yeah, you went you went into a, a think, real deep squint. What a mess! <laughs> deep squint. You thought he was having a medical. <laughs> You're, what are you, Mike Pence over there? <laughs> oh, he squints really hard. Yeah, I yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he also he, <clears throat> P- Pence does what I do sometimes, which is which is say something that he thinks is gonna be funny and it doesn't land. Yeah, we have but, some and clips. Breathe really hard after he does that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We, let's let's see that. Let's let's before oh, we get into my theory. Yeah. Yeah. And we have my medical Joe Biden story to d- talk about my ears. <laughs> oh, is this? I think I know which one this is going to be. <laughs> oh, and the story. You had another story about like the middle of the night that we were not. That's we, what I'm. That's talking. right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm. okay. Sorry. Also, Dave's wearing fun socks. I just realized. Those yeah. are cute. Oh, thank you. They kind of. Yeah, they don't not go with the blazer. And I am yeah. a young, vibrant man. <laughs> <laughs> Are there many blazers in this studio? Is this weird that I'm wearing this? I love it. Okay, I think good. it's like... Oh, it looks great. You're, t- you're like right as Trump would say, you're right out of central casting. <laughs> <laughs> there are people... There's networks that have hired, um, promoted certain cameramen because he likes handsome men. There's like... <gasps> Like he, but well, not in that Who, way. Who's he? Trump respects he handsome does. men. Oh yeah, he, does. he can. He considers himself. You've seen the picture of him, like the painting where he's wearing like the the, the tennis outfit. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. He, that's his. He, that's how he sees himself. That's how he wants other people to look. <laughs> and so it's noticeable the the people who cover him now, the, the cameramen, the, the 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 like the shutters and like the, uh-huh. the film. Really good looking, just like real workout constantly. These are the people that work for him. They're to the cover him. The networks right. would be like, "We need the best looking oh. guy possible to cover Trump," because he'll comment on it. He'll stop and say, like, "Look but at this yet, guy. How much does he work out?" And then once he once he starts talking, you can get him on something else. But yet they're still publishing pictures of him with his ch- neck pulled, chin pulled back. What was yeah, he that quote? Like he said? That. All right, let's hear what Mike Pence. These are the, the these are the, the zingers he had last night, Meg, Megan. <laughs> Megan Pence. <laughs> Joe Biden doesn't belong on a picket line. He belongs on the unemployment line. I'm glad Vivek uh, pulled out of his business deal in 2018 in China. That must have been about the time you decided to start voting in presidential elections. I I served in Congress for 12 years, although it seemed longer. Chris, you mentioned the president's situation. My wife uh, isn't a member of the teachers union, but I got to admit, I've I've been sleeping with a teacher for 38 years. Full disclosure. <laughs> See, these are comedians. These are performers. These oh, they're are entertainers. All... Well, I, my question about that is obviously there's a lot like the, yeah. the horrible tr- 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 uh, uh, Chris Christie. Yeah. I'm gonna say something else. Um, his horrible Donald Duck line. Yeah, that one didn't That's land. A fl- he goes, uh, they're going to start calling Donald Trump Donald Duck. You want that one? Because, yeah, do you want to hear this? this <laughs> and I want to look at that camera right now and tell you, Donald, I know you're watching. You can't help yourself. I know you're watching, okay? And you're not here tonight, not because of polls <laughs> and not because of your indictments. You're not here tonight because you're afraid of being on the stage and defending your record. You're ducking these things. And let me tell you what's going to happen. You keep doing that, no one up here is going to call you Donald <laughs> Trump anymore. We're going to call you Donald duck. Oh, that's silence. <laughs> he needs a better landing because he was Bump. getting me going. I was like, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. he's about Ramp to do something funny. It's oh, like, like the, the fake the fake tunnel from like Roadrunner. Didn't it didn't 
Oh, anywhere. it's like it's coming. The good, the, the mm-hmm. grand slams come as. He just said in the Donald Duck voice. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like he was like, oh, F. that did not land? Like he he immediately was like, okay, that yeah. didn't get a laugh. No, his campaign was using it all day. Like, they, 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 they had Donald Duck memes. memes. They're putting yeah so memes on it. But that one. So my question is, that one's look at that still of him. I also right. thought he took a different spin on Donald Duck because when you said he called him Donald Duck, I thought he was going to make fun of him being silly, but he was saying that he was ducking things. Yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. a pun. Yeah. Right, that's a message to uh, Luke, Luke. And, yeah, yeah. Think we have to keep our pun. country gate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so my question though, Davis, yeah. that's clearly those guys sitting around writing Jeff one-liners. Jefferson. Like there's a one-liner yeah. written. There's a somebody on the staff help. Maybe it's him, but somebody working that. They know they're going to hit that. But is Pence? Riffing with he says when he says I've I've been sleeping with a teacher for thirty two years. That's also prepared. That's I've, also prepared. Yeah, I've seen yeah. him say that mm. in in crowds okay. in Iowa, and it's the same delivery and the same reaction. But it's like, ah. and if, Jeb, yeah. did, Jeb did the same thing when he yeah. was like pulling out of the race. Yeah. He said, "I've been sleeping with this lady for th- oh. whatever." <laughs> Why did you do that? I'm gonna go home and sleep about with. The sex life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, the, the context was that Christie had uh, said had attacked Biden for sleeping with his wife. Because uh, she's a member of the teachers union, oh. he's like he's in being in oh. bed with the teachers union. Oh. You know? oh, so it was a it was both. Pence has this line. They all got these you know hundred things in the quiver, and he's yeah. like, I got this. Right. I have a line I've been uh-huh. saying for ten years about how I sleep with the teacher. Here it comes, mm-hmm. and it was uh, he he's when is he good? <laughs> he's like he's in in this Christy? in this frock. Well, everything slows down. There's some guys like time speeds up. When you're listening to Ramaswamy or Haley, yeah. and everything kind of slows down and chills for Pence, and that's never good to yeah. no, <laughs> a basis for a good one-liner. Yeah, yeah. Um, listen, I've got so much more to cover. I've got to tell, talk about but your story, my story. The, um, the, I want to, my theory the for the story, yeah. next elect, for, uh, my sort of wishful thinking. Okay, um, I, I have some stuff I want to talk about. I mean, yeah. uh, who are you again, Vic? <laughs> yeah, Vic's I got. got I guess I want I want to know where the hell Perry Johnson is. Why yes, we want to talk about Perry there's Johnson. A, a, they're trying to keep him out. But so. Matt, we're right at so the fun. hour mark, so that means we have to take a quick break. We got well. We have a we have two more minutes. I know we're, that. I'm just going to take one. Let's take one more call. You want one more call? We're getting the light like we did last night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, think, I hate getting the light. I go. Oh, please, just let us go. Come on. <laughs> Well, I get it for the early show because they they have to turn over the right. room. Right, the le- the late night show just let us let loose. Let's talk to Gav. <laughs> Gav has some mm. questions. Uh oh. Mm. Right, Gav. Oh my God. Is this Gavin? Let's go to break. Uh, what's his name? Gavin from Vice, uh, from the oh, Proud Gavin Boys. Oh, Gavin McGinnis. Yeah, McKins. Whatever his name. Yes, is. Gav. Hello. Um, I don't know I, what's going on. I don't really know what the show is. I just joined because Megan saw those guests. <gasps> what? Well. Oh my god! <laughs> well, can I get your first reactions to the show? I don't know what's going on. Well, what do you mean I you don't know, know what's going on? It's clearly just a bunch of people know. talking. <laughs> and if, are you America in America? Yeah. yeah. What what time is it? <laughs> it's almost eleven a.m. Okay, because I thought it would be night. Okay, I don't know. Like, I'm just hi, what t- Megan. What time is uh, it where, where time? you are? What time is it? Oh, um, nearly seven o'clock. Do you like what the dynamics of the show? Me and the guys. Yeah, I'm enjoying it all. I am enjoying the show. I oh, think good. it's great, guys. I'm, I'm trying, trying to place the act. What is that? Is that you? Uh, it's Northern Irish. Oh, so mm. you, were you up in Belfast? Yeah, yeah. That makes me feel amazing that I have somebody in Ireland celebrating me. Truly. Do you know what? How did you come to become a big Megan fan? Just flat out listening to the podcast for something to do and then just saw you at the Fringe twice. Oh. Oh, my God. You're making me feel amazing. I really need to win. How was she at the Fringe? And then I want to ask you you how you liked it. So good. I saw um, the first two shows. So good. So, so good. Well, guess what? You were in the audience with my girlfriend. You're probably sitting next to my girlfriend. No. I Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> I was front row both nights. I queued. I queued up. Huh? And then I asked for a poster. You knew I got a really I horrible didn't... review on that show. He said that was an egotistical monster that thought I was hilarious. Who said this? And guess what? <laughs> I... W- I'm sorry that a comedian thinks she's funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how dare you? 
But uh, who, who gives a shit well, about Well, you know, he reviews? gave a really good review to somebody who um, will... Uh, Tell me during the break. a sexual predator. But I don't know his name. But it was somebody oh, whose show geez. was Not... about getting in trouble, and then now he's back, and he gave oh, him an amazing review. Oh, wow. Me. Well, a lot of these reviewers yeah. are dim-witted. I think, not well, if you're, if you're writing that bad of a review, it's like, okay, you want to eat my ass. Like, yeah. you're trying to have sex. Sure. Like, if, you, your if you're writing that bad of a review, it's like you're obsessed. Yes, You know totally. what I mean, in a way. And at that point, just don't, don't publish it. Like, you don't need... Just keep it to yourself. Yeah, yeah. But, the 69 my humpty nose will tickle your rib. Um, <laughs> thank well, you for coming to the show. Yeah, that thanks for your support. <laughs> Tim's upset because you haven't really said anything about the boys, and Dave has. No, it, he's new to the show. Somewhere. We welcome you as another as a. It, it's an international yeah. show. You're gonna love being a part of the community. It's a great group. Okay. And you're um, being really sweet, and you're actually not mad at Gavin. No, Gavin. and Gavin, I just hope that war between the North and uh, the rest of Ireland is resolved. Uh, I'm to, I'm I'm gonna sort it out. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, thanks, Gavin. That brings us to our break. Uh, we'll be back with more. And uh, you know where to find us on patreon.com slash office hours live. You're about uh, to hit 7K. We're trying to get to 7K, 7,000 patrons. That's one of the hello, higher hello, patron hello. accounts on the site. Really but smart. It's free for a week. You have no excuse. <laughs> Seven days. Oh, good. You wouldn't belong getting fresh, but. <laughs> You have a fan for life because you were so sweet we're about to Gavin well, anyway, to not knowing the show. The I know. So well, now I, you have a fan for life. I don't like life. how he kept saying, I don't know what's going on. I didn't like that either. It's I don't think, I don't think he so much. You know what? That maybe he's got a point. Maybe it's something we should listen to. Maybe we should. <laughs> maybe this show should get buttoned up a little bit. But he li he's, they liked the show, though, so it seemed like just relax and enjoy. Because I think sometimes people are like, oh, I need to know exactly what the, you know, just relax and enjoy, I'd say. It's a put on. Gavin, stay with us for the next hour. We love you. And get all your Irish friends to join in. Huh? What if we become the number one podcast in Northern Ireland? <laughs> How hard could that be? All right, folks, we'll be back in five. Enjoy this uh, command performance by our actual Secretary of State, Tony Blinken. <laughs> From the, the Great Muddy Waters... My mother, before I was born, gonna be a man child coming, gonna be son of a gun, gonna make pretty women's jump and shout. 